For those of you that are ready to come and join us, we're really excited to welcome you back to our venue for an in-person Sunday morning. We're still gonna be doing things online, but for those of you that are able and ready to come back and meet with us, here are some things that you need to know before you do that, as well as just a little guide to see what it's gonna be like when you do arrive here. thing you need to know is we need you to pre-book via Eventbrite. There's a link in the description to this video. It's really important that we know how many people we're going to be expecting and also because as you'll see in a minute we've had to space out the seats in a socially distanced way. There is a limited number that we can have in the venue at any one time. So to avoid being disappointed if you arrive and we're full, pre-book ahead of time and you can see uh, the seating all laid out. When you do arrive, we ask that you do so between 10 past 10 and 10.25. 10 um, the team are gonna be making sure the venue is set up and clean and ready, and at 10 past 10, we're gonna open our doors. Whilst you're waiting to come in, because we need to check you off our register and make sure that you've had the opportunity as well to uh, log in via the QR code for the NHS app, um, we want you to uh, line up down the side of the venue or stay in your car until you can see that there isn't a queue. And then stewards will welcome you into the venue. Now, as is the case, wherever we go at the moment, hands, face, space. So important that we remember that that applies when we are worshiping together. If you think you're exempt from wearing a mask, please don't leave it until the door to tell us that. Let us know ahead of time. You can email us at office at gracechurchstoke.org so we can discuss that with you. If you don't want to wear a mask and you're not exempt, then we want to encourage you, keep on joining in online, but you won't be able to come into the venue to be part of our in-person gathering until that restriction is lifted by the government. Let's go inside now and see what things are like in the building. Here we are in our main hall. You would have come through the entrance doors that are flung wide so you don't have to touch anything. You would have sanitized your hands. You'll already be wearing your face covering. Although, if you've forgotten yours, please don't worry. We're gonna have a short, small supply of disposable ones that you can use. And then you'll come through to your seats. Now, you'll already know where your seats are because you would have chosen them on Eventbrite. Seats are in groups of twos or threes or fours or fives. Everything is two meters apart. You're four meters away if you're in the front sections from the worship team, so that's nice and safe. Once you're in your seat, we need to ask you to stay there. Obviously, if you need to go to the toilet, that's fine. Although the toilets are gonna to be one person at a time. We're not gonna have access to the kitchen. Every other area of the building is out of bounds. So if you're gonna need a refreshment, please bring that with you um, so that you're comfortable because you're not gonna be able to use the facilities here other than the toilets. At 10.30, the doors are going to close, which is so countercultural to our flexible, welcoming uh, Sunday morning that we have often had previously. But that's because, unfortunately, the coronavirus regulations for places of worship don't really allow for that much flexibility. We've got a limited capacity in here, so once everyone is in, that's it. We need to close the doors. So if you're late, beware. You may be disappointed and encouraged to go back home and watch online, even if you booked a seat. We wanna start things promptly online and we just don't need people and don't really want people walking in front of others and in front of cameras and all sorts of things. So it's only temporary, it's only while these restrictions are in place, but I don't think it's a bad thing to be a prompt and punctual church. Once you're here, unfortunately in our worship time, you're not gonna be able to sing out loud. You're not gonna be able to um, pray out loud. If you wanna make a contribution, you can't tap a host on the shoulder because that breaches the two meter gap thing. You need to bring your phone with you, with your data and log on to the live stream and make a comment there. I know it's really weird, but again, that's how things are gonna have to be. And then once we're done, we're done. The, the live stream will end, but so too will things here. There's not gonna be a tea and coffee or opportunity for fellowship afterwards. We have to encourage you to leave promptly. And we're gonna do that with a one-way system through the back door, the fire exit in the hospitality area. So I think that's all you need to know. Those points again are book on Eventbrite, arrive promptly, sadly stay in your zone once you're here and leave promptly. I'm really looking forward to seeing you on a Sunday soon, whether you're at home or here in front of me, two meters away socially distanced and all that. God bless you, see you soon.